functional heel raise. This is a movement that we use to combine a knee bent heel raise and a um, knee straight heel raise. Those are oftentimes strengthening um, progressions that we go through working somebody's lower extremity um, back up to load capacity. This is really common in a lot of our running clientele. Um, the, the things that we want to talk about is the alignment. So I'm going to use a wall for stability and I have a 45 pound plate. If you're at another gym, use a 45 pound plate. Um, if you're at home, there's a lot of different things you can use. You can use this, um, stairs for this to where if the, um, the, hand, the, the hand rails on each side act as kind of like your wall and then your heel is floated over the step. But we want your heel to be floated. So when we're in that bottom position, my knee is bent and my calf is active to support my heel. And then I'm driving into like a knee straight. And this, um, this allows us to transition between two points, knee bent, knee straight obviously. And then it kind of allows us to sync up some of our hip musculature and our hamstrings as we go through these progressions that mimics more of kind of the strike pattern with running and it's projecting us in that horizontal direction, which is what happens when we run. So when I'm, it'll be hard to tell, you won't be able to tell really from this side angle, but when I'm on the wall, when I drop down in that bottom position, a lot of times people's knees will drift way across their body. I'm not too concerned about that, but that's not often a common movement pattern we see when someone runs, and we're trying to replicate similar joint patterns with this movement. So. Just try to focus on keeping that knee, hip, and foot kind of in somewhat of an alignment. Um, and, and again, we're trying to minimize our knee coming way across our body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hands on the wall. I'm going to put pressure through my big toe and my, pink, and my pinky toe equally. I'm going to sink down to where I'm kind of like in a partial squat, knees bent. And then I'm going to drive my left knee toward the wall. And I'm going to come up onto my toe from a, like a knee bent position to a knee straight position. So I'm just doing essentially a dynamic heel raise. You can often, if you have a hard time with the movement pattern, you can take the off leg or my left leg and kind of reach back to help with the hinge and then drive it through the opposite direction. So I'm going from like a hinge position to a nice straight line from my head to my heel in that top position. So. That's gonna look a little bit different for everybody in terms of like your sets and reps. Pay attention to your programming. See if you have any sort of special tempos with a pause at the top or a pause at the bottom. If nothing is indicated, you just have the standard set up like I just demonstrated right there.